All right, gloomers, here it is. The Crimson Scales. Uh, this came in a few days ago for me, and uh, I wanted to hold off to record doing an unboxing so we could go through this together. Uh, I got the uh, box set Crimson Scales with the add-on, and I also got the miniature set I have. As many of you probably already know, I have a 3D printer, but uh, I figured I'd go ahead and save myself the trouble of having to print all of them out, and uh, so we'll look at all of them. So let's start with the big box. Uh, I haven't seen any other videos. I don't know what to expect really in here, uh, but we'll look at this together. This is a massive box. This is, it feels wider. It feels like it's probably wider than the Gloomhaven box. Uh, not as tall, but you do need Gloomhaven to play this. This is not standalone. It does have a whole bunch of other information um, that you need to play, other materials and assets. Um, this looks like something you would buy off the shelf at a game shop. It doesn't look like it was something that was fan-made. So huge props to everybody who was involved in putting this together. Uh, I know Board Game 613 has primarily been, you know, he's been the one that created most of the classes and coordinated it, but uh, some others from the Custom Content Unity Guild uh, developed some of the other classes that are in here. So, all right, let's take a look. I'm going to be super careful because I don't want to ruin anything. Very clean. Nice glossy finish. Corner is nice and sharp. I know I saw one person posted that their uh, corner got bashed in and shipping, unfortunately, but mine looks like it's in real good condition, so that's great. And let's open this up. I love the artwork there. All right, so right off the bat, we have some bases that are going to be used for standees. I know for Gloomhaven we already have some of these, but we have some red ones for bosses, it looks like, and uh, some additional ones in case we need more. We have some bags here. I'm guessing these are going to be for the punch-outs and keeping them organized. There is a welcome to the Crimson Scales. Read this message. A bit of a thank you. Gives instruction on how to unbox. Um, we don't have time for that. So... Appreciate it, but uh, nope, not going to read that right now. All right, Crimson Scales Rulebook and Scenario Guide. So this, I've taken a look at it online. This is going to have all the information for all the custom conditions and any unique rules uh, or how to read any of the information that's provided and outlined that might be unique to Crimson Scales. Talks about the different starting parties that you can create. Uh, I believe my understanding is that you can pick which classes you unlock as the starting party and that any of the other classes are considered locked. And then from here, it starts to go into the first scenario. Um, much like some of the, you know, the original Gloomhaven had all the information on the scenario all up front, uh, but much like, um, I think, Forgotten Circles and Jaws of the Lion, you have different information in a different book for the subsequent rooms that are unlocked. And that's what this book is for. This is the uh, scenario section book. So for any of the additional sections that go along with the scenarios, they're in here. So that's nice, fits right on top there. This appears to be some supplemental information regarding, okay, these are the add-on, uh, add-on materials. I recognize the classes that are outlined here. We have the Beetle Tools and Bloody Claw. Those are the three add-on classes. Uh, these are all CCUG classes. Then we have our punch board. We have some of our uh, custom class information here, condition tokens, class tokens. Uh, we also have some resources for the different uh, the different classes in the add-on. Uh, we have our nice pog here for uh, the custom class there. Uh, 
there's some more here. Looks like a little bit of damage on this sheet, but it's not on any of the actual punch outs. So that seems to be okay. Uh, also have some spawn tokens. Now these look like summon tokens, but they're a little bit unique. These are for the skull class. More custom conditions. We have uh, chill, infect. There's a unique poison condition for one of the classes. Uh, I think we'll have a wound version kind of similar to that on another punch board. Some more custom bosses and enemies. Some unique tiles. These look pretty nice. I think they came out pretty good. And I will say the uh, tokens are, they're really wanting to come out. So they are not gonna take a lot of work to push out. Um, but even just moving them off to the side, they're starting to pop out of their own. All right, under the top, we have our enhancement stickers. Just looking at it initially, I can't tell that this is any different from the quality of what comes with the original game. So that's nice to see. We have our uh, standy tuck boxes here. Looks like we have some smaller and bigger ones. So the, uh, the miniatures, which I've purchased separately, uh, I can fold these boxes up to keep the minis in. We have our party sheet. Looks pretty similar to the standard Gloomhaven one. Uh, a couple of unique goals and things listed out here as well. I like that that's right here instead of tucked away in a book. And we have our classes. So we have uh, three classes here. One of these is the add-on class. Three more classes here. The Tusk class is, I guess, kind of considered not a spoiler. It seems to be the one that's used in a lot of the marketing material. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I see we have the uh, ladder class here as well. It's another CCUG class. Four more classes here. Uh, I'm familiar with, with many of these again as well. Um, this one here again is one of the add-on classes if you get the add-on. And uh, the last four classes. This is the last add-on class. Uh, let's gonna let's open one of these up so we can take a look at what's inside. We'll use the tusks. So the boxes. I, when I saw uh, information online about these, the boxes looked almost white. Uh, but these actually have a bit of a color to them, and they seem like they're going to match the standard Gloom Vanvid boxes better than I originally thought they would. So that's good. Here we have our standee, if, we, if we're not going to use a mini. We have our pad of uh, sheets for the class. I feel like these might be a little bit smaller than the Gloomhaven ones. I can't tell for sure. Maybe not. I don't know, something feels a little smaller about them, but maybe not. And then we have our class mat. Um, these are in the traditional Gloomhaven style. Uh, they do not use the Frosthaven style of cards or mats, but similar to Frosthaven, instead of having the generic class information about you know long rests and how to take your turn, um, these generally have information about how to play the class or unique mechanics that the class uses to play. And much like the others, you could see the um, information here on the back. The font on the back does seem to be a little bit different from what Gloomhaven used, uh, but I actually think it's a little easier to read. I might be wrong on that, but I think that's a little different. Um, the quality of cardboard is nice. It's a little shinier and maybe even a little sturdier than what comes with Gloomhaven. Um, I've had experience buying cards from online stores but not anything with mats. So it's nice to see that there are custom options that have the right thickness and look like they're gonna hold up.
We got a boatload of cards here. So there's some city events. Uh, this looks like it's some additional cards related to the add-on pack. We have road events. Uh, this also appears to be related to the add-on pack. So these look like they're personal quest city events and road events for the add-on pack. Um, this looks like it's just the Crimson Scales road events. I think these are the locked ones because they start with number 60. And we have, looks like locked city cards. Uh, here's some information and cards that go with classes 10 and 11, the skull and the uh, galaxy there. Not sure exactly what those are. Oh, you know what? We didn't have ability cards in the talk box, so they must all be mixed in here. So this looks like it's the ability cards. <clears throat> looks like they did that to avoid spoilers. All right, we have three more classes here. Three more classes here. And three more classes here. So those look like they're all of our ability cards. We have monster ability cards here. And it looks like items. More monster ability cards, more items. I imagine some of these are available through unlocks and other ones probably uh, maybe available right away. Uh, we have some cursed cards here. Not entirely clear why we need those when we have them in Gloomhaven, but I'm sure that uh, you know whatever classes we unlock will be able to help tell the story there. And it's probably not all cursed cards. Here we have some attack modifiers. This looks like it's probably for the different classes. Yeah, these for sure are different class attack modifier cards. And uh, I think that might be about it. Is there... Is there any other hidden information here? Do we have an envelope or anything that we need to be aware of? Nothing there. Uh, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna lift this up just to check underneath. You may or may not why I would think to do that, but we do not have anything else underneath. So that looks like it's it. So this is what comes in the box with the add-on for the Crimson Scales. Really impressed by this. Kind of jealous um, that, you know, I didn't have a chance to be involved in this in any way with uh, me being personally late to the game with some of the custom content I'm doing, but who knows, maybe we'll get a Crimson Scales 2 or something someday. All right, let's take a look at the minis. Close this back up. Looks like each of these are individually bubble wrapped, which hopefully means that they haven't been damaged in any way. And look at that. That is clean. I don't see any flaws. You know what? 
I'm not sure if these were molds or 3D printed. I don't know how many made these, but they're a little flexible, kind of like the minis that come with Gloomhaven. There are some resins that allow you to get a little bit of flex to them. So that makes them quite a bit more durable, but the, the detail is still very good on these. I don't know what they used to make them, um, but I'm really impressed. This is better than what I would have gotten out of my printer, so I'm happy that I did it. They almost look like they're pre, pre-primed, but I don't think they are. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'll look, open up a couple more. But we'll try to keep some surprises. Um, the only downside with some of the flexing is sometimes you get some uh, some unintended leaning, as many of you may be familiar with with your Gloomhaven standees. Uh, I've got some pretty bad ones, but I think I know what this one's going to be, just based off the size and the fact that something's sticking through here. Is this the... Wilted Moon Special? It is. All right. This is massive. Good Lord. That is a standee. So I get a little bit of the bag stuck on here. I'll get that off later. I don't want to accidentally break it, but that is a beautiful standee. This is very big and uh, again, very clean. I really can't, with my eyes, see where supports were broken off, so I kind of think these maybe were molds, but I don't know. These come out really nice. Props to the team for these. Um, really impressed. So that's it for, uh, for the unboxing. Uh, one last thing that I just wanted to mention. Um, the team that put this together, many of them uh, and many others from the Gloomhaven community uh, have started a new company and they're in the middle of developing a new board game called Rove. Uh, it's still in development, but um, it sounds like they're going to have a Kickstarter sometime, uh, I think, early next year. And they've started to do some marketing and, you know, they have a website up and running where they can, uh, they're showing off a little bit, some teasing of the the gameplay and you know what to expect from that so it sounds like it's going to be a dungeon crawler if you're a fan of uh, gloomhaven it sounds like you'd probably be into this type of a game but there's enough difference that it's not just a gloomhaven uh copycat so interesting to follow this we'll see what comes of it um but anyway thank you for uh, watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i can take a look at anything that's in the box and uh I'll let you know what I come across. I know that uh, another wave of folks have subscribed for the second printing of Crimson Scales. So if you're gonna be waiting a little bit longer, again, I'm happy to help you out with any questions you have. Um, and I'm actually working on helping to convert the assets uh, from Gloomhaven Enhanced 1.2 to 1.3. I have all the classes converted over and the first handful of scenarios and most of the custom enemies converted over as well already. So. Uh, that should be available if you're a tabletop simulator player. You should be able to use that on version 1.3 relatively soon. And 1.3 is a significant upgrade for custom content. So uh, the experience would be a lot smoother. Scenarios will load much like they do in a uh, you know normal Gloomhaven campaign. All the class envelopes will drop right on the table for you. So um, much smoother to get a campaign up and running there. So. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.